Hi lovelies, welcome back. I'm so glad you could all be with me today and if you're new to my channel my name is Cherie from Divine Visions and I do pick a card readings uh, pretty much weekly, twin flame and astrology readings monthly and I do channeled messages um, pretty much well, every, every reading I do is pretty much a channeled message, but today we're actually doing a proper channeled message from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. Now, I just want to say a big thank you, you guys, to all of you guys for leaving your beautiful comments. I'm seeing all of your green hearts, guys, on the videos, which is so cool. So for those of you who don't know, you have the chance to win a private reading with me at the end of this month. And... Um, the second prize is, and I don't know why I'm so bloody puffed out, the second prize, I'm just going to bring this over here for a moment. The first prize I'm giving away is the um, win a private reading and all you've got to do is comment a green heart on each video between now and the end of the month and each video that you comment on, if you just comment once please, uh, the green heart which is awesome. Each of uh, each video that you comment on between now and the end of the month is an entry. So if you've commented on the last two readings plus today's video, that'll be three entries for yourself. So if you come on every time I every time I um, do a video and you comment a green heart, that's an, that's one entry. So the second uh, prize is this. Divine Love Messages from Your Twin Flame Soulmate deck that I've created myself. It's got all different messages from your, your, you know, your divine counterpart, whether you call them a soulmate or twin flame. These are the special love messages, okay? So you have a chance to win this, this, or a private reading. I hope to God I can talk properly. I'm feeling pretty tired today, so I'm just, um, I've been really drawn to doing this. I'm feeling like a, a pull to do this today, and um, I'm just going to slow down and really tune in. So as you can see, there's three readings in front of you. I just wanted to quickly say thank you to all of you for your recent donations as well, and your messages that you're sending me. I appreciate every single one of you. You're so awesome, guys. Thank you. Um, so yes, getting back to this, reading number one, reading number two, reading number three, keep your divine masculine in mind while you, cho while you choose one, okay? You might want to take a deep breath and just focus on the cards for a moment. Hi group one, thank you so much for being with me today and I hope you're doing really well. We're going to have a look at what's going on with your Divine Masculine. Now I have a lot of cards here to go through. I'm going to lay them all out separately or individually and um, just so you guys know I don't necessarily read them in order. I tend to go where Spirit's guiding me to go for the messages right here. Okay, so first up we've got End of a Cycle. Knight of Swords. Grief, Five of Wands, and physical touch is important, lonely, isolated, disconnected, alone, passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy, unexpected income, trust, I know that God in his infinite wisdom and love is answering my prayers right now. Compassion, I see and feel others' points of view with forgiveness and kindness. The Magician, Relieve Anxiety, Cycles, Willingness, you are able to compromise if the end result is love. Cooperation in your quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and experience has value. I could only work with what I had at the time. The lovers, I'll read this out when it comes up. And rain purification. 
distant thunder clear the air. I know I messed up and did things that made it seem like I don't care, but trust me, you are my world. Pure contentment within one year. Strength. Body care. Vows. Commitment, promises, fidelity. Dilettante, I think it says. I'll read those later. Radha, soul flame. Six of Wands. Conclusions are within reach. Surrender to your full power. Unknown. And separation. Okay, guys, so give me a second. Okay, give me a moment, guys. Just give me a moment. To, because there's so many cards I've pulled out today. So I've just got to really get my feel for this. This Divine Masculine knows. He says, I know you are my soul flame. I've lost a part of myself and I haven't felt harmony and healing within this relationship. I know you are my soul flame, but I could only work with what I had at the time. I know, I know that you deserved more than what I had to give you. I did choose you. You were the perfect choice for me and you still are the perfect choice for me. I've been undergoing a lot of anxiety right here. And I don't know how to make it right. I've had to come to an end of a cycle here. I know it had to end between us and I've had a lot of grief because of it. A lot of anxiety and grief because of this ending. I didn't know how to come forward towards you um, and tell you what you needed to hear and what you deserve. I didn't have the tools to come forward and manifest what it is that you need. I have a lot of passion for you. I have extreme passion for you. My heart and soul sings with joy when I think of you. I really am going through a cycle of pain right now. I'm trying to learn about myself. There's lots that I need to clear the air with right now. And uh, I need to surrender to my full power. I realize this now um, that I haven't stood in my full power. I've allowed things to come in and get in the way. I've allowed things to ruin us. I feel so lonely without you. I feel isolated, disconnected, and I'm so alone. I mean, my, I'm strong. My grief is so strong right now. My grief is so strong right now. I know I messed up and did things that made it seem like I don't care, but trust me, you are my world. I want to come in really fast with this message for you. I want to cut down the barriers. I want to machete away the things that are in the way. I want you to trust me that I'm coming in with good intentions. Um, I'm willing to cooperate with you. I'm willing to cooperate now. I've had to undergo huge purification right now. My soul is cleansing. Right now I've had to take care of myself in a lot of ways, not just emotionally, but mentally and physically. Um, I'm not sure what the future will hold. And this separation has taken its toll on me. I miss you so much. I think about you and I yearn for you. And I'm unsure of our future, but I want to make it work to, for you. Um, I want to commit to you. You deserve my commitment. I miss your physical touch right now. Nothing is more important than your tender touch. I really miss you. I want victory with you. I want to let everyone in the in the whole world know that we're together because I might have shunned you before. Please have compassion for me as I undergo this this change and transformation right now. I know I haven't um I know I've acted like I have all the knowledge in the world. Um but I am still learning. I am very much still learning and I'm learning the value of myself and of you. There's been a lot of conflict and competition around me right now in my life. I'm struggling. I'm trying to be strong. I'm coming into my strength. 
I know that conclusions are within reach. They will be within reach for me. I just ask patience for patience because I think it's going to take a good year to me to really get myself sorted out. This is what I want with you as pure contentment. You are my, you are my flower. You are my rose. I have a lot I want to say to you and I need to say to you. I know that I want you in my future. I am working on making the proper plans. Please believe me. I'm willing to cooperate now. I'm just at the tail end of things I need to purify from my life. I'm undergoing a lot of, a lot of things that are unknown to me right now and I've got to try and feel my way through it. I feel like you've moved on without me and that's difficult for me to see. I feel like I wasn't fast enough in coming to you and having myself all sorted out but within a few months I really want to help make some changes here I know at the moment I'm unavailable but I hope to be available to you within the next few months even if it's communication something or someone is standing in between us right now and hurting you was never my intention, but now it's hurting me too. I have abandonment issues. And I've been very disagreeable with you. I know I haven't been easy to get along with. And i it's a case of, you know, getting in before you could hurt me kind of thing. I know I've been very defiant. And um, had my walls up and, and just been a force that you just cannot seem to reason with. And I felt very helpless without you. And in this journey of this pain that I've been in, I know I ghosted you and I'm so sorry for this. I didn't mean to ghost you. I didn't want to ghost you. And at the moment I'm antagonistic. I feel like... <clears throat> if you're too well I was antagonistic I'm changing my ways I feel very guilty for the way I've handled things and I want to come in I want to come in with fairness I really want to be fair in this connection now I want us to be adventurous together and I want to work hard at this with you I've become very independent. I'm moving away from a third party situation that's holding me back and I'm going to become approachable. There's no, long, no longer going to be any walls. No walls and no excuses. I'm going to come into this abundance. I feel very abundant having you in my life. And obviously I appreciate your friendship I want to be friendly, friends with you. I want to be friendly towards you. I don't want this antagonistic, horrible energy between us anymore. I want to be honourable coming into you. I want to do the right thing. And I want to be, well, I want you to be objective, please, to see the bigger picture as to what's really going on here. I'm really, really wanting to come through with this grace. And gentle energy now and kindness and I ex and I appreciate your kindness as well I know that you have tried your best with me and that I wasn't easy to get along with I just feel overwhelmed with everything that is happening in my life right now I really need some time and patience. I'm nearly there. But I am willing to compromise with you and work with you. I have never allowed myself to feel like this for anyone. And I've, it really freaks me out. That this is how, how I've felt with you. It's, it's so strong, this feeling, and it scares me.
I love you. I know I never said it enough. I didn't fall in love with you because I have always loved you and always will. Please believe me. I know you have questioned that. And you are my everything. Even if it appears like you're not, you are. I want more with you one day. I know it's not the right time right now. But I know I can work towards this with you. I want you to have faith in me and in us, in our connection, and know that it's real. I want you to believe in us. Okay, and the advice for the Divine Feminine, please, Spirit. What's the advice for the Divine Feminine with this channeled message and her Divine Masculine, please? Let it go. You're being advised to let it go. You're holding on to something too tightly. And it's blocking this, um, your divine masculine from really coming in forward. It's kind of like there's a block in the way here. And it's something you're holding on to. You're being maybe a bit resentful with this divine masculine right now. And it's, it's spirit are asking you to let go of the past let go of the anger and the deep sadness here. Try to transform it into compassion and love and patience and healing. And having this faith in your Divine Masculine, in the process, in the journey, okay? Because your Divine Masculine is um, feeling a lot of regrets here. There's a lot of shadows. There's... Um, a feeling of really stuffing up and needing to cleanse and, and process and heal. And he's in the place of grief right now. Um, so that is your reading, guys. I hope that's resonated in some way or given you some clarity. Um, and if so, please comment below. Don't forget to comment with a green heart if you want to be in the draw for a private reading with me or to win a deck of my cards. Um, so I look forward to connecting with you next time, guys. Love and blessings. Welcome, Group 2. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you're all doing really well, guys. I'm going to lay out these cards, and as a lot of you know, I don't read them in exact order as they come out. I like Spirit to guide me to where it's sort of telling a story, okay? So let's see. Weave your magic into this situation. Three of Pentacles reversed. Judgment, reversed. Instinct. Page of Cups. Be willing to express love. Nostalgic, missing, yearning, reflecting. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Occupation. Devotion, God, Knight of Wands reversed, examine your integrity, selling out, detachment, you are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love. Please forgive. Four of prosperity, possessiveness. DNA karma. Wandering path. You are the glow that lights up my life. You mean more to me than you know. Just because I let you go doesn't mean I wanted to. Take back your power. Faith. 
ideas and inspiration established family triumph security visionary charity prayer and contemplation two of pentacles reversed have faith in your dreams surrender to inner peace let go and palm tree stability security permanence growth endurance flexibility okay just give me a moment guys to focus on these cards okay I know I chose another pathway to you when I could have enjoyed this journey with you and I decided to go another another way, another pathway. But just because I let you go doesn't mean I wanted to. You mean more to me than you ever will know. And I realise now that I am suffering from my own karma. It's my bad karma. I've had to examine my own integrity I wasn't remaining true to my path. I wandered off from you. And I realize I've had a lot of lessons to learn. I didn't want to retreat from you. But I had to disconnect from the world and everything. I just couldn't deal with the way things were going. I know you need stability with me and growth. I know you need something permanent. And I really want to establish this with you. I want to have this with you, this security and family. I know how important this is to you. Please forgive me for detaching from you and what is what was important and what is important. I was holding on too tightly. I was afraid, afraid and ashamed. I was afraid to let go, to express my feelings to you, to trust in my instinct, which was right all along, which was to be with you. I thought you were going to stifle my freedom, as I'm a free spirit, and I thought that you, would, you wouldn't allow me to grow in this connection. I felt like, like I have in the past. I was, a, I was afraid and worried that I would be smothered and that I wouldn't be able to express my love I want to be able to express my love on my terms and I've got to learn to open my heart and express my love I felt pressured I really do want to come in and offer something sweet to you I really do want to talk with you I realize I wasn't treating you as a priority and I chose something else and I really miss you. I think of you all the time. I am reflecting on this and I miss you so much. I was occupied by other things in my life. Maybe it was my work or another situation, but you've been my inspiration. You've given me ideas now on how to be a visionary and see the bigger picture, to surrender to inner peace and to let go of those things that are scary. And you've taught me to have faith in dreams. I've got strong faith in this now. I know that I know that I don't have to sell myself out anymore. I'm true to you. I am faithful to you. I have been praying and contemplating on this situation. I have a strong devotion to God and my strong faith in God that this is all going to be okay. I know it's my past karma, as I said, that I need to deal with. There's things I still need to wrap up in my life. There's things I still need to work on. And I need others to help me with this. I need to take back my power and not give it away to everyone else. I do have the ability to speak up and be true on my path and, and 
be true to my own integrity here. I can weave my magic into this situation um, if only I believe. And you can. I believe you can weave your magic and you have woven your magic into this situation. You've given me the ideas and, and answers all along. I just wasn't seeing them. But you are the glow that lights up my life. I'm following your light now. Honestly, I pretend to be someone I'm not because being vulnerable felt uh, uncomfortable to me. I was wearing a mask. I probably still am in some ways. I'm sweeping away toxicity, toxicity to make room for what's truly important. I know I've got a fair bit of baggage to still let go of. And you're the missing puzzle piece that makes me feel that I'm right where I belong. I know it's you. You are my home. I've been struggling with this hostility within me for some time now. And I've been sabotaging this connection. Any, any chance of having love in, in my life... Any, any chance that there is love for, to enter my life, I, I close off. I've, I've closed off to you. And I didn't have to. I realise that now. That you weren't there to hurt me like the others did. Biased. I've been very biased in this. Only seeing one way. I've been vindictive and I've... I've been vindictive because of insecurities I've had as well and I can understand why you were hurt and it was wrong of me to be like that. Watching you stand in your power turns me on though. It's, you know, you've got to take back your power also and I can see you have stood up to me and it really is something I respect. I knew, I know, sorry, I know there is a deep soul connection between us. I've always known it. And I know you're the one. I want to come in with a playful energy with you. Things have been so serious and I miss that with you. And I want fairness in this connection now. I know I have treated this unfairly. I've treated you unfairly. I want us to be blossoming in love. I am in love. But I want us to grow together. You are my everything. I want you by my side. I tried to stop these feelings, but now you are burning hotter and brighter than ever within me. No matter how much I try to sabotage this and wear my mask and run away, even choosing the other path, it's all come back, come back at me right now. And these feelings for you have grown stronger and stronger. I dream of you. I dream of you all the time. I dream of the life that we can have together. And I know that you dream of me also. And I know that you need clarity where it's been confusing. And I want to give that to you now. Okay, so let's see what the Divine Feminine's advice card is from the from spirit from the divine source please what guidance or advice do you have for the divine feminines please what, what can they do in this time you got to stand in your resilient power and take responsibility for your feelings here. For the light that you grow within yourself. 
You are resilient. You've got to remember your power and re realize that you are responsible for your own happiness and your own flame that bl burns brightly. Okay, so it's something to think about right now is that you are in control. You can weave your magic into this situation. Keep your divine masculine in, you know, in your view. Keep him in your heart. Burn this flame for him as well. Be strong in your power because you do stand strong. And he is really respecting that right now as well, guys. So I hope that's resonated with you. If it has, please comment below. And don't forget to comment a green heart below if you'd like to be in the draw to win a private reading at the end of this month. Um, or one of my deck of cards here, Divine Love Messages from Your Twin Flame Soulmate, which has different beautiful messages on here. Um, so yeah, so if you'd like to do that, please comment below, like and subscribe, and I would love to connect with you next time. Love and blessings. Hello Group 3, welcome guys. I hope you're all doing really well. Uh, let's have a look at what's going on with your Divine Masculine, what he wants to say to you. And just first up, I just want to say that as I lay them all out, just so you know, I don't necessarily read them in order as they come out. Um, I like to allow Spirit to direct me where I'm to go with all the cards, okay? So it tells a story. And um, so let's get started. We've got a blessing is coming into your life. Queen of Wands reversed, Trickery, Seven of Swords, be in the present and dream of the future when we dream everything is possible, confused, conflicted, questioning, over analysing, engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Courtship, family, page of swords reversed, transform anger, self-sabotage, ownership, um, you acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. I'm thinking of you right now. Page of Insights, The Observer, uh, which before I do this is the same as the Page of Swords here. This one's reversed, this one's upright. Um, this one says, yeah, full of energy. It's just a description. Ocean, ebb and flow. And surrendering, surrendering to the journey, releasing control. Ever since I met you, nobody else is worth thinking about. About You are the best thing that happened to me in a long time. Within eight weeks. Invoke. Perception. Serenity. Epiphany. Realizations, understanding, awakenings. Scribe. got magic manifesting Isis seven of wands you and your loved ones are safe surrender to play the tortured soul and coffee cup okay all right there's quite a few cards guys um, more than I've ever done before so let me just Take a moment to focus, okay, guys? Um, <clears throat> okay, where am I being guided to, Spirit? I'm thinking of you right now, and I've been thinking of you a lot. You've been on my mind a lot I just feel so bad for what's happened in the past. I feel like I know you don't want anything to do with me and you haven't wanted anything to do with me for some time. 
I have wanted to come forward, but I have no idea what to say to you. I've tried to write a letter to you or email you for a long time now. I've just tried to sit down and work out what I want to say. And I know that you're pissed off. I know you're pissed with me or pissed at me. And that your guard's up. I know this. And I deserve this. I know this. I'm taking ownership of this now that I was self-sabotaging. That I self-sabotaged this and I caused you a lot of anger and anxiety and you felt tricked by me, you, you know that I wasn't wearing, that I was wearing a mask, I wasn't being true to you, I was hiding my feelings and being deceptive. And I know that I told you I wanted a family and it might have come across as that I didn't because of the way I sabotaged things, but I really do want a family with you. When I was courting you, it was real. I do want this engagement and um, commitment with you. I do want this with you. I was just so confused and I still am a bit confused. I'm conflicted, but I'm learning to surrender to the journey right now. You've invoked a, you have invoked a feeling I've never felt within myself as you've given me this realization and understanding. I've awoken now to the, to the true feeling within that I feel towards you. I really wish you could transform your anger so that I'd be able to come forward and tell you what it is that I feel. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me in a long time. And ever since I met you, nobody else is worth thinking about. I know you might not believe me, but I wish you could change your perception on this right now. I wish you could change your perception that I want to bring a blessing into our lives together. I do want to have a family with you. I want our dreams and visions to become reality now. I want our magic to manifest I've learned to go with the ebb and flow to allow life to just go with its natural rhythms. I've, I've had to really, really um, meditate and even go to the beach and try and just stop controlling things. I've got to allow things to flow now and, and know that there is a time for releasing and a time for, you know, accepting, giving and receiving, a time to let go and a time to receive and to be in the present and dream of the future. I've really been spending a lot of time dreaming, dreaming and fantasizing about what could be between us. I've been so tortured by this. It's just been something that I haven't been able to get off my mind. I want you and your loved ones to be safe. I don't want to have caused you any pain at all. And I do want to have a home with you and a family with you. I want us to all be in this place where we can be safe, where there's serenity, always. I want to be playful with you. I want us to be coming into a light-hearted energy right now. I want us to go and meet for coffee and have a conversation and start off with a friendship again. Savor the moment together and uplift one another. I'm sick of this heaviness and feeling that I've done so wrong by you. Within eight weeks, you know, I might be free to be able to do this. I want to see changes with you. Yes, you are the one that I want to get away from the burdens and I want to I want to be with you. I want to I want to get rid of what doesn't serve me anymore. I want to free myself from those burdens and I know it might take me 2 months to deal with this stuff for now. I've still got things I need to work out. And I wish I could. I often fantasize about us just being with each other right now. But, you know, I wonder, I worry that you might think we're so different and I'm trying to figure out how this is going to work. We have different lifestyles, maybe different values. But I'm willing to work on it with you. I know I've been closed off and I'm really sorry about this. I sabotaged it. and I didn't mean to. It was being destructive. I've been destructive. I haven't been on a good path. There's desperation within me. I feel like I need to, I desperately need to make this right right now. I'm sorry if I humiliated you. I was very arrogant in my, in my ways. I want to come in and be creative with you. I miss that. I miss that. I want to grow something with you. I want to create 
and grow something with you. I find you really intelligent. I find you very smart. And, and I've learnt also my own uh, learn lessons and I'm learning a lot. I'm healed. I feel like I've healed a lot in my life right now. I've been on a journey. And I can be supportive of you. I feel I can do that now. Once these obligations and burdens are off my shoulders, I want to come in. I have optimism for our future together. You have taught me the meaning of unconditional love. And I've been caught in a cycle of pain and betrayal for such a long time. It wasn't you. This is why I self-sabotage because I was afraid you were going to be like the others. And you know what my family's like. I've written so many messages to you, but I never send them. As I said before, I've been trying to, I want to sit down, I have been trying to sit down and write something to you, but I don't know what to say. I can't get the words out right now. You are the other half of my soul, and like day and night, we are different, but we complement each other. I'm trying to figure out how we're going to work out our differences. Where do we go from here? Forgive me, I have never felt this way before. I do not know how to act. I'm trying to work it out myself. I'm trying to work it out. And your picture brings me to tears. I'm looking at your photos and I just get so sad because we can't be together. I know you are my other half. I live for your smile and would die for your kiss. I constantly feel you running through my veins. I just can't seem to get away from this. It all comes back to you. I've acquired a lot of wisdom on this journey. I know what I need to do. I know I've been confused. I've been dreaming of this moment. For the rest of my life and I dream of you I literally dream of you I ask you to have faith in me and in our connection that I'm going to do the right thing by us okay so what does spirit have to say to the divine feminine please this is your advice card for the Divine Feminines. This person really wants a family with you. They, they weren't ready. They were sabotaging and running away and chose another path, it seems. Um, they're really learning, though, on their pathway. They might be meditating, going off and just really being in nature. Oh, you got three cards here. Claim your identity. You might have lost yourself in this connection. So it's about really claiming who you are and physical strength. Know that you're a strong person, that you can deal with this stuff. Um, and look, maintain your position. So it could be that at the moment you have to be really physically strong, like not, not losing yourself in this, but also I feel like it's mentally strong as well. Physically strong in the in the way that you might be tempted to call this person or reach out before they're ready. Um, and claiming your identity, knowing what it is, who you are, you're an empowered person. Maintaining yourself and knowing that you are a strong um, goddess, basically. You are strong. You're strong in your divinity. And I think being that way is going to help your person come to you. There's no pressure, like you're just standing strong in your power. You're not chasing after this person. 
um, you know, there's obviously some sadness here, but it seems like you're going to still go after what you want in life. You're an independent person who's very um, empowered. Yeah, so it shows me that in the past it might have been very different where you were chasing or constantly contacting and this just caused this person to close off and run away. There might have been some anger, I think. Did we see that before? I've got to remember which one. Yeah, they're saying that you're pissed off and guarded. So it's about just holding your strength, maintaining. It's almost like that strength card comes through with this too where you've got to tame the beast. You've got to restrain the beast within that might want to lash out. Maintain your position. Know that this person is working through their stuff now. They do want this, they do want this commitment with you. They've had this epiphany of what they do want, but it's going to take them a bit of time to heal and work their way through that as well. Um, they're carrying a lot of pain and a lot of fear from the past, and I get family stuff going on there for them as well, so it's, it might take a little bit longer than what you're expecting. But still stay strong on your path. Go after and chase your own dreams, and um, soon you'll hear from this person, I feel. So guys, if that has um, resonated in any way or given you clarity, please comment below. Um, and don't forget to comment a green heart if you want to be in the draw to win a private reading with me or a deck of cards, the divine love messages from your twin flame soulmate that I created. Um, each, every video that I do between now and the end of the month, if you come along and put a green heart on the bottom of the um, video, that will be one entry, okay? So each video that you put um, a comment or green heart on is a, an entry. So if you've put any green hearts on the last two videos and this one, that'll be three entries, guys. So I hope you have a good day and I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and blessings. Mm -hmm.